I'm rolling now. Um, so if you're still in an external camera, now is the time to get back into your cockpit. If you are preparing to launch a fighter, we'll just cross our fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, lots of stuff can go wrong with so many people in an instance, but we'll just try it out. And our first, uh, and perhaps the most dangerous maneuver, is that we'll start moving forward. And this is how we'll do it. <laughs> uh, Corbin, real yeah. quick. Um, Tramador Catullius, can I get a verification that you can, in fact, rapid select between the two of the other people Roger. in your room, please? Catullius okay, can. Okay, I've got it on Trom. Catullius, can you verify for me? Thank you. All right, I've got rapid switches between myself, Tramador, and Catullius Corbin. Three flight leaders in formation are good to go on front end. Excellent, and I've got Evaldina as well. Okay. Uh, so, uh, on my count, we will increase our speed to uh, 50, and that was 50. In And there is no target system because we won't do the mass jump uh, in... Um, in uh, three uh, in forty five minutes, so uh... yep. Corbin standing on your standing by on your mark to go yep. to five zero meters per second. Right. So increase your speed to fifty in three, two, one, mark. And you'll want a nice slow acceleration to so give everyone a chance to adjust. I think rubber biscuits AFK. I'll catch up once he. He's back. Scavs, watch your speed. Right. He said five zero, Scavs. <laughs> Prepare to increase to one hundred on my count. Three, two, one, mark. Ten at one zero zero. One zero zero confirmed. Right, Tina, I'd like you to take us into a slow dive and come down to like five kilometers of altitude. Just a slow pitch down on your count. Okay, slow pitch down on my count to five point zero kilometers in three, two, one. Mark. So Passing minus call. five. Passing minus ten. Passing minus one five. Passing minus two zero. Passing minus two five. Please stop at thirty. Coming to thirty. At minus three zero. Sorry, I'm a bit low here. Whatever Dr. Kai is doing today, he's not gonna top this. That's accurate. Right, so everyone, while we slowly descend here and you get sort of a sense of what it takes to remain in, in the, the formation, uh, there are three principles that I'd like you to, uh, yeah, to take to heart, perhaps. Uh, not only are they practical, they'll also make you a more graceful formation flyer. And the first principle is that you point your nose where you want to go. Uh, you don't want to use your sideways thrusters on your up and down thrusters. Uh, not only it doesn't it uh, doesn't look very good when seen from uh, outside, it's also really hard to follow for the people behind you. So if you want to make any corrections, point your nose and slowly slide back into position. Uh, the second principle is that you want to be like a rubber band. Uh, you don't want to make any uh, s uh, stark movements. Uh, you want to do anything uh, slow and fluid. If the ship in front of you suddenly appears to stop, uh, as it will do because of the instancing, uh, don't jam on the emergency brakes or do any sudden maneuvers. Just slow down uh, gently. Uh, you might bump, bump into them. It won't do you any harm. Um, or they might catch up. Um, so in everything you do, try to do it uh, steady and fluid. So be like a rubber band. That's number two. And uh, the One third principle is you will want to announce the 
unexpected. So if you do anything else than following your flight leader, please tell in voice chat or local chat, uh, so we don't uh, run into each other. Right, we'll be leveling out at 5 kilometers. Leveling out now? Ooh, I'm going to be just a little shy of 5. That's okay, no worries. Okay, leveling out. Heading is 0 at 4.81 kilometers. everyone a chance to uh, come down. Yep, I'm watching. That was beautiful. <laughs> right, so the first maneuver we'll attempt here, uh, we'll go straight for the loop. Um, a full loop. Okay. And with this many ships, Tenna, you don't want to pull <coughs> too tightly because there'll be no way to uh, steer away from the tail. Yep. Uh, so I don't know, perhaps a height of uh, 1.5 kilometers or a bit more. We'll, we'll do. We'll do fine. Okay. So everyone, um, uh, just follow the ship in front of you. Uh, adjust according to uh, you'll want to fly in their path uh, through the loop. Uh, you'll want to keep them in more or less the same position on your windscreen. So steady movements, everyone. Steady turn rate. Yeah, thanks, Gab. Steady turn rate, you don't want uh, any jerky movements. Yeah. Alright, Corbin on my mark, correct? Yes, on your count. Okay. Performing full loop on my count in three, two, one, mark. Also, don't try to cut short. Follow the smoke trades. Passing 90. Passing 0. This looks fantastic. Passing 90. And here we go. Oh my goodness. Leveling out, readjusting to zero. Beautiful. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> so, how many died? Uh, <laughs> doesn't look like any death. Okay, zero casualties so far. Excellent, people. Already, I, I deemed this evening a success. <laughs> so, thank you for coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. we'll, we we'll, we'll sign off. We'll sign off now. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody. Let's wrap it up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put this out there. It is so Seriously, difficult. Seriously, that, that looked amazing. Yeah. Right. Next thing we'll try is the half loop. And as we come out of the loop, as you try doing your, your warm up exercise, we'll roll around our own individual axis uh, to the left. Okay. Just to remind everyone, you will end up on the opposite side to the side you're on. Yes. So, for okay. instance, I'll just, ex just explain before we go up, because for some this is very confusing actually, and very disorienting. So right now I'm in the left column. I have a lot of sheep on, ships on my right side. But when we are flying inverted, hadn't rolled out, they will all be on my left side. So just follow the ship in front of you, disregard everything else, and you'll do fine. Your flight needs <laughs> to take care. But if my ship in front of me boosts off into the to the plane? just follow the ship in front of you. If he boosts, you boost. <laughs> Very much boost. Nobody. Just a bit of lag. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, stand by for half loop on my mark in three, Nitro. two, one, mark. Passing 90.
leveling out. Don't roll until you level. Hello, sir. Heading, heading is 180 level flight at 6.15 kilometers. everyone a chance to get out of the half loop. Yep. And everybody's done. Okay, uh, go ahead and make sure you have your 300 meter spacing, please. Can I, Nitro, please resume my position in the uh, column? I don't know who it was that crashed into me. I've got two anacondas on the middle right line. Could you, could you, the other anaconda, could you repeat? I just fall in behind. The left column I'm side, by. you also have the right ones. Rubber biscuit, watch where you're headed, bud. So we're going to just take a few, a uh, little time here to reform. Tromador, you are closer to Tenna than Cotalius is. Cotalius. I can get closer if you want. Sideways like. or sideways? Yeah. That's fine. There's room with you. Who is. Me. Right, are we ready for to try a loop again? And Abeldina, I couldn't hear what you said. Save those room if you come towards me, but that looks good now. Right. How's that? That's better. All right. We'll try a loop again then. Uh, are we doing half loop or full? Full loop, please. Thank you. Okay. okay. A couple of anacondas in front of me uh, bumping and grinded, but they seem to have sorted sorted each other out now. Okay. Stand by for full loop on full my loop. mark in three, two, one, mark. Nice fly by there, Nagi. Passing 90. Passing zero. Passing 90. Great, you're gonna have to move. And leveling out. Oh, I got shooting. to make those loops just a tiny bit bigger, Tanner. Yep, I can do that. I watched this directly from the front and that looked really cool. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I'm a bit behind here, I'll just close up a bit. No, it's okay. So we'll do the half loop now uh, and come back towards a heading of zero. Okay. So only a half loop. One observation. For those who uh, may not know, when yes, a roll scab, always a roll. When you're doing your loops, aim for the thrusters or slightly behind the thrusters. Don't aim in front of the ship in front of you. Aim slightly behind. Okay, so stand by for half loop on my mark in three, two, one, mark. Passing 90. Level 
Leveling out. It looks awesome flying into the sun. Oh, sorry. Can you call altitude? Uh, yes. I am at three seven point three nine kilometers. Just make small corrections here. Right, because it, it, we've had so smooth sailing until now, so we'll now try the dreaded the vertical formation. And this is how we'll do it. <laughs> and Tromador, um, uh, Abeldina will uh, be your eyes, so just uh, trust her. You won't have Very to well. invert it. So columns, columns to the right of the center column. You will shortly be climbing to 300 meters and level out. And you'll re keep on the same heading. Then Abeldina, you will climb an additional 300 meters. So compared to now. Columns on the left, we will be diving diving 300 meters, and then my column, the column of medium ships, will dive an additional 300 meters. Right. Corbin, just, just as a quick thing, um, once we achieve the formation, uh, respectfully request that we do not turn to our sides, or else I will fall out of the sky. Also also when we are in a, uh, in a circle? Um... No, the circle should be fine because that's my rear thrusters pointing down. Right. So, will you will you be able to uh, make a horizontal circle to the left? Yes, I should be able to. Cool. Then we won't be. Of course, you'll be rolling to the side and then entering the circle. Will that be okay, Tanner? That will be fine by me. Cool. That's that's how we'll do it. Okay. Right. So, columns to the right, prepare to do a gentle climb. Out of column a bit more columns to the left, we'll do a gentle dive, outer column a bit more on my count, three, two, one, mark. So Catrolius, you'll go to seven kilometers height, I'll go to 6.7. Heading is zero. You are diagonal now. Right, leveling out. Confirm your altitude, Tanner. Altitude is 7.38. Okay, holding at 7.68. 7.98. Right. So on my count... Yeah, that's on my count, upper columns... Upper columns, you will... Change your heading slightly to the left, and Abeldina, you will have to call out to Tromador when he should return to a heading of zero. Can you do that? Yep. Cool. And I can also control. provide that. Very good. Because then you'll have to guide him. And Katoli, as you and I will be sort of adjusting to the right until we are into the center column. I'm already so under the, the center column. The lower columns is already... Uh, aligned. Yep. Yeah, we're okay. already there. Okay, Tramador, we... mark your speed. Yeah, you're dropping back behind me quite a bit. Sorry. Um, okay. I'm moving across now. You can tell me when I'm catching up and at the right height. Okay. Tramador, you are lined up vertically. Coming to zero. Smidge just a bit more to your right and go ahead and increase speed to catch up. I'm at 110. Okay. Oh my God. Coming to zero. I'm at zero. I'm at zero. So it looks like we have achieved a vertical formation. We'll just give people the rest of the line time to fall in. 
How's my um, positioning? Am I caught up yet? Now, uh, give me just one moment. Hey, Vary. Stop. I see you now. Look at that radar. <laughs> nah, that's great. Alright, falling back to speed 100. Yep, you look fine where you are. So, all flight leaders, please confirm that you are heading zero and speed 100. Commander Tana verifying heading zero, level flight, speed 100, altitude 7.39. Tromador confirmed. Okay. Oh, yeah, confirmed 7.39. Okay, we'll now do a circle to the left. Okay. Whoa. And Anaconda falling out of the sky. Dude. Okay. We'll continue. Uh, try to fall in behind us at your own speed, but keep a bit of distance. Um, we will uh, do a circle to the left. Full we circle? Uh, yeah, let's try it. So okay. we want to make it a bit, a bit wide. As yep. we enter the circle, we will roll onto our left side and then into the circle just like you tried during your warm up uh, practice. So, on your count, Tenna. Let's do this! Okay. Moving into left hand circle on my mark in three, two, one, mark, rolling left, pulling forward. I'm using vertical thru or horizontal thrusters to keep altitude. And I'm slowly spiraling down. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, slowly spir <laughs> we'll, we'll slowly spiral down. Roger. Positioning to spiral with Tenor. Sorry, guys. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get back forward. in position with your death spiral. <laughs> so yes, keep your speed. There we are. I'm good. Right. Okay, Tenna, so take us out on a heading of zero. <laughs> yep, that's what I'm looking for. Well, we won't be doing this much longer. Okay, we tried it, we tried it. It was worth <laughs> a try. It's cool to see, Vol. <laughs> okay, I am on heading zero, height 5.80. <laughs> Correction, 5.80. Seven two kilometers. <laughs> I'm at zero and I'm at six point two descending six point one. It's getting messy at the back. It's getting yeah. messy at the back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, okay. We'll try slowly reforming the columns. Oh the yeah. back's destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, sorry guys, my uh, out and I went flying. Right, prepare I'm to coming. come to prepare to come to a speed of fifty. On my count, all ships come to a speed of 50 in 3, 2, 1, mark. I'm holding on to the guys uh, out of formation. Now, Jenna, please confirm your altitude. Altitude 5.77 kilometers, speed 50, heading 0, level flight. Right. Okay, preparing to come back onto the right side. Yeah, we will try reforming slowly. We'll try reforming the horizontal formation. So I'll. Kedu's uh, already. I'm already there. I rolled out of the corner wrong, so I don't know if my group followed me or not. But I'm. Already... Your line did follow you. Fo following you. Tenor, reconfirm altitude, please. Altitude five point seven six. Roger that. Okay, my group. If you're following me, I'm going to move off to the side and then start going down to that altitude. After after we finish, if anyone needs repairs, I'm gonna get. There them. are there are several standing by seals in the formation. We can provide uh, heals. Three uh, heals during the formation. Uh, I probably could. <laughs> only after the target, and then launch then even have to face. Oh, them. oh I'm coming up. Sorry, control yourself. I'll move more for those this left. Sky. Yeah, look for damage targets on your contacts. Altitude uh, is 5.78. I fell out of formation. Uh, we're gonna form back in at that. Right, it was worth a try. <laughs> Skywater, standby for repair.
Oh, nope, I'm out of range. <laughs> I'll give it a go. I can okay. get him, I'm right behind him, actually. Alright, that'll work. So, Repair sent to Skywater. So, Thank how you. is it working out at the back of the line? Are you slowly reforming? Or is it total total chaos? Uh, no, they're, just, so bad. they're looking, they're looking alright. Um, just the I think... the rubber banding gets amplified back here. Yeah. Right. Is it okay to uh, increase our speed to 100 again? Uh, yes, I don't see that. Tenna, you want to check your heading? Yep. I'm at zero. Okay. Alright, everyone, prepare to increase speed to 100 on my count. Okay. Three, two, one. Going to 100 now. Just to inform you, we got about 15 minutes left. Uh, we want to set up a mass gym. Thank you. Tenna at 100. Zero, zero. Nice. It's getting pretty dark here, so I'd like us to do a half loop again and come a bit more towards the south. Uh, there's two anacondas at the back, um, inside each other. Stormy seas and someone else. Got one dropping down below, so that should be fixing itself. All right, that would go. that would be me. Um, I need to get back. I'll just drop back to the back of the line. Stormy okay. seas, can you go catch up with the rest of the group? Okay, uh, Caboose is AFK and he's going to catch up. That's fine. All right. Uh, do we have everybody caught up back there? Almost. Let me know when you guys are ready, and I will give the countdown for half loop. One ninja my spot. Yeah, it happens. Oh, good. You huge on play. Okay. We good? Let's try it. Okay. Commencing half roll in three. You mean loop? Two. Ah, good. Thank you. Commencing half loop in three, two, one, mark. Passing 90. Heading 180, level flight, altitude 7.52 kilometers. Alright, I'd like to, us to do that one more time so we gain just a bit more altitude. Okay. Uh, so you want to do it twice more, that way we're still facing uh, 180? Uh, no, uh, once more. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Stand by for half loop in three, two, one, mark. Passing 90. I guess I can't have both. Uh, <laughs> You can. Out, leveling out. No, you can. I, we I, just I, have to do another half loop after this. No, yeah. uh, we need to be facing north for the next maneuvers. <laughs> so. Ah. Oh, very well. Altitude 8.66. Level flight. Right. But I guess with Naki taking footage from in front of us, this will still look cool. All right. We will prepare to form into three columns now. We will do this by having the outer columns, the medium ships, reduce their speed, and then we'll fall in behind each hour line of anacondas. So, Eveldina and your column, and my column to the far left, prepare to reduce your speed to 60 on my count. 
So medium ships in the outer columns, reduce your speed to 60 in 3, 2, 1, mark. Coming up next now will be a three direction split. Okay. Well, I think one cross loop and we don't have really much time left. Uh, we'll need to do both, I think. It will work. Does anyone here have a problem with us uh, going uh, 10 minutes uh, uh, over time? No, I'd rather do all these spectacular maneuvers and have tons of cool footage that makes us look magnificent. What he Doesn't said. Be. <laughs> Thank you for the repair. Oh yeah, right, when, when, when Dr. Kai is jumping before us, the servers might already have crashed when we want to jump. We have to take that into consideration. Medium ships on the left will resume full speed, perhaps even a bit more, as we catch up to the ships in front of us. It might not even be a such a bad plan to stagger the mass jumps at that rate. Depends how big Dr. Kai's jump is. No, let's melt the server. Oh! Oh, I am. Why did you have to say that? Mm. Oh, oh yes, oh, yes. too frozen. soon. Just, yep. It will recover. Oh, oh I would think this gone. Give it a second. second. Give it a second. <coughs> Give it a second. Don't touch your throttle. And everyone is gone. I'm alone. Nope. Just oh, stay out for your ass. Let it yeah, go. See? Just let it, let go. it settle. Just a second. Let it play. Let it play. I'm alone in the instance now. I have oh, about four people here with, in my instance still, I'm but it's uh, time. Oh, okay. Everyone's yeah. gonna come back. Alright, alright. Completely out formation, though. No doubt, but yeah, we had this uh, yesterday. Oh, instance. Okay. Yep, I've got uh, things back too. Okay, so I now have several invisible ships. Um, I think Scav is one of them, because <laughs> he he has yep. no sight on anybody. Uh, I'm not with you at either. Oh, half the fleet back. Alright. Yeah, I see the gap in front of Luna. <laughs> yeah, and I'm back. Scav is uh, invisible. Can I poop him? People are popping back in again. Yeah, I've lost the FDL that was in front no, of me. No, I can't boot, uh, boop him. <laughs> I think we're going to be using that extra time to reform the formation. Yeah. I'd still rather complete the maneuvers that we want to do than worry too much about. Yeah, I'm not fussed about time. Uh, I don't know if anyone else is, but like, just whatever time. However long it takes, honestly. I'm having a little bit of an issue. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Okay, Scavs is coming back into formation, that's good. Your spot shouldn't have any real changes to it, so you should be good to just come back in. My FDL is back too. Okay, if you would please resume your position. Alright, so we are forming into three lines here. Three lines. Yes. Oh yeah, confirm visuals on Scav. Should I take the position of Catolius that was in front of me? Um, no, I'm here. Catolius is flying off tenor. Yes, he is. Oh, I don't see him. Okay, then you are the invisible ship in that gap that I can see between Catolius and number three in that line. Um, if you go to free camp, can you see any of the ships behind you? Stormy, can you catch up? Uh, let me check. What's the flight speed right now? Flight speed what? at the moment is one zero zero. Oh, we could, we could go to a full stop and not let people uh, catch up. Um, I'm only seeing about eight ships on my radar. Yeah, 
guys. We got a large number on mine, but I'm also seeing NPCs. I think I'm oh, seeing yeah, them. Yeah, me too. Except if, if they're yeah. in the range of your sensor, okay, hang, so yeah, so the NPCs are, yeah, as Evelina says, sensor range. Okay, so whoever is second behind Catolius, whoever is behind Catolius, if you can see other people in your line, please make adjustment so that the person behind you and you swap spots. One of you will dive, one of you will come above. Uh, whoever dives will slow down, whoever comes up, up will, or whoever's in front will slow down, whoever's behind that will speed up, they'll swap spots. That will give you someone who can see Catolius, that way you can follow in line. All right, um, I will dive. Macron here, I will dive. Okay, whoever is number three, please, if you are... Okay, so Macron's number three, you're diving. Number two, please uh, rise and slow down, that way he can take your spot. And then you'll literally just take in the spot that he had behind uh, himself. Okay, I, th I think I'm um, second spot now, switching with I'm behind Catolius. Okay, good. Right, so how are we looking, people? Are we more, are we falling back? We look like we're good. Um, Catolius, oh, line, is please fast. maintain your 300 meters. Altitude check, please. Altitude check is 8.46. Naki, how does it look from back there? So confirm uh, 8.46? Um drifting down for some reason, coming back up I to 8.46. I still see some gaps. Not much. Confirm 8.46 for height. Right. Okay. That's big boy rubber band right there. Yeah. Okay. We'll try to continue, see how this plays out. Um, or perhaps there'll be an event in the future, who knows? But for now, we'll try making the three direction splits. So, uh, Katolia is prepared to come uh, about to uh, 270, and Tromodor pre prepared to turn right to 90. No, turn obviously. right 90 degrees. Yeah. So, on my count, we will split in three directions. Three, two, one, mark. Stay at the point where you split, so I get uh, to good see idea. the action when you come back. Trouble door say altitude. I'm at uh, eight point five five, descending to eight point four. Center column, we are going to be raising altitude to 8.75 to accommodate flying through loops. Stand by on my mark for center column. Three, two, one, raising. Okay, Catolius, I'm at 8.4. Catolius at 8.4. What's your separation? Catolius and Tromador, what's your separation right now? We are at 16 kilometers. Right, okay, everyone, so what we'll do now is that all three columns will do a half loop and we'll be flying on a collision course back towards each, each other. Except the center column will be a bit higher. Center, center column Catolius leveling out at 8.77 kilometers. And Catolius and Tramador will make small adjustments so we don't uh, make a head-on collisions. And when we meet, the two opposing columns will do a loop and the big ships will fly through it and it's gonna look awesome. And all you have to do is follow your flight leader. Right, so all three columns prepare to do a half loop up on my count. Three, 
two, one, mock. Center column, please state your altitude after the loop. Will do. Center lead, passing 90. Skywater, back off the loop. I don't see you. Tromador level at... Just slow down. Center a column leveled out. 9.5. There you go. I don't really see you, so... Bit problem. Okay, center column descending to 10.0 kilometers. Probably In 3, there. 2, 1, 20 descending. kilometers. Right, Column, what's your altitude? Uh, we are going to be meeting at 9.5. Okay, it is at 9.49. 14 kilometers. Center Column leveling out, 10.0 kilometers. Ten kilometer separation. Center column adjusting course two one nine zero. Wait, is there a cutter under me? Corbin, there's a there's a imperial cur a cutter just uh, under me. We should I'm uh, th th that's probably Doctor Nagi. Center Six. column adjusting course two one eight three. Tromador's column coming right very slightly. Center column reduce speed two six correction seven five. Three kilometers. Three, two side one. columns pre reduce careful. speed. Two one loop in. Three not, not, not two, yet, not yet. One loop. Yep. Oh, 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 that timing! 19. Gentlemen, your timing hmm. is wonderful. Coming right to avoid Catolius. Done by someone. Someone's just run straight over me. Looks like it hard. Stormy seas, you are a rubber banding motherfucker. <laughs> There's a curve. Stay focused, stay focused. Coming to level. I'm doing fine though. I'm not worried. Just one. Just, just one. Keep comms clear. Just one loop, yes? Yes. Yes, one loop. Chometer at 279.5 kilometers. Center column adjusting course to 180. Okay, they're coming up to 9.5. And Anaconda dropping out of the sky. Okay, Tromador Catolius, um, I am at 75 meters per second, altitude 10.1 kilometers, level flight at 180 heading. All right, Evaldina, we are up now. We will move our columns to the left and forward. So we bring up our column alongside the others. Would you we like us to down. slow down? Nope. Roger. Corbin, just to verify, this is the double-double? It's the double-double. Okay. Tim Hortons for all you Canadians. Uh, Avaldina, when we loop, you will need to uh, spiral right to avoid uh, 
Well, you will need to spiral right to avoid me spiraling right to avoid hitting Catolius. Yeah. Both Adeldine and I will stay slightly behind uh, the flight leaders, which will be you, Tromador, and Catolius. Roger. So we'll have visual on you, and you'll be taking the lead. We'll just follow. Center column re-establishing not 10.0 altitude. 25 kilometers separation. Right, and I don't think I can see you, Catolius, so I'll just follow Scalaeus. Tromador, what's your heading? 270. Center speed check. Speed check is 75. Thank you. I've just yeah. been drifting up, I'm coming back down to 9.5. Scalaeus, can have it. Scalaeus, do you have visual on Catolius? Yes, and we're flying at 90 degrees. Uh, heading 90 degrees, 9.48 kilometers. Corbin, yeah. when, we, when we do a half loop, it's going to switch us around between... Avaldeen will move from my right to my left. I'm currently on your left, so that I'll be on your right after. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's planned. Everything's planned. Trust the planning. Okay, okay. okay. I... I Obviously, we heard something loop. somewhere. We'll prepare. Do the half loop on my count in three, two, one. Mark all columns. Do the half loop. Center column Automatic. passing ninety. And leveling. Center column leveling. Okay, you're leveling. 37 Stop. kilometers. And we'll descend Catolius back down to 9.5. Center column descending to 10.0. Sorry. Well, guys, if you want to, you could stay up here. We'll get a bit more light, but I don't know. Okay, let's uh, keep it at 10. Okay, leveling out at 10.5 kilometers. Center column. Avaldina, I'm slowing a bit just to let uh, Terminator get ahead of me. Okay, I'm at 90 degrees and I'm doing 103. Okay, there's 271 degrees, 10.3 height, altitude, and 100. Apparently I'm drifting down. I'm pulling up again to come back to 10. It could be a surface Three. feature, I guess. Twenty-one kilometers. Uh, is Commander Town P here? Yeah, I'm here. Can you see me? I'm an FDL uh, behind Corbin. No, yeah, I'm behind Corbin. Uh, yeah, the yeah, two of you uh, are actually I've... colliding a lot. Yeah, I've been behind Corbin. <laughs> okay, loops What's coming it? up, people. Yeah. Loops coming up, people. Try to settle it somehow. I'm going down and slowing down. 15 kilometers. Okay, we've got a bit of space. If one of you can fall to the back. I'm falling back. Uh, Excellent, thank you. 13. Tromador, check speed, how fast are you? 103. I still don't see you, sorry. I didn't know you were there. Yeah, that, that, no problem, no problem. Take hey, comms clear, please. Just one. 9. Center column adjusting course 2002. 7. Tromador's column coming right very slightly. 5. for loop on my mark three two one loop
continue looping or straight ahead? Straight ahead. I'm at 90 degrees, 10 kilometers high, speed 103. 270, 9.66 altitude, speed 100. Center column adjusting course two zero zero zero. No fatalities? Nope, we're good. How was that, Nagy? Looked weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't care how it looked, we just performed the double double loop. I don't think that's ever been done before. <laughs> the, okay. the double Death double loop it. with the threaded. Not just a double double loop, but a threaded to double double loop. That's definitely not on this game. Right. Mm, I'm considering uh, cutting off a few maneuvers here because time is running actually. So I think we should perhaps just uh, come about and set up the mass jump. What okay. Yeah. It, it will still take some time to set up. So. Uh, Okay, well. um, I, I, I will redock my ship and look for a target system. Uh, yes, please do. Can so, someone... Uh, Corbin, Can I'm someone. gonna bring the center column to zero. Actually, uh, Corbin, our column right now is pointing towards uh, Bones to QV-W A82-4. Yeah. It's right on the horizon. Yeah, um, we need to, uh, to gather people. Okay, uh, th here's what we're going to do. Sorry for interrupting you. Um, um, Tenna, I'd like you to bring your uh, column about in a half loop, so you'll be flying south. Okay. Center column, stand by for half loop in. On my mark, in three, two, one, mark. Right. All of us will be. The rest of us will be doing a half loop in a little bit. We'll center give center passing ninety. We'll give the center column a bit of a head start. Uh, okay, Corbin. Uh, Catholius has gotten quite far, so uh, Catholius, can you fall back a little bit? Center car column leveling out. Fall back from a hundred points, uh, man. Right I'll tell you when you're within three hundred meters. I'm not quite understanding. I'm. I'm trying. Running a hundred like a bang, my column is not keeping up. I see two uh, anacondas uh, colliding uh, on the left of Corbin. If I, I guess we, we can all we can move the whole row forward. So I'm, I'm gonna speed yes. up a little bit now. Yes, it's 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 you who needs to keep up, Scalias. Okay, Corbin, I am at altitude one one five, currently traveling seven five meters to second uh, per second Sorry. at one eight zero, ready to give Scav the lead. Uh, two commanders, okay. uh, Skywater and uh, Mac Roan are on the same position. Okay. I don't see. Okay, That's other level. Yeah. yeah. Skywater, just back up a bit. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so Catrolius and Tromador, uh, prepare to come into the half loop. Evelyn and I will follow you in three, two, one, mark. Level rolling. Two seventy degrees, eleven point three kilometers, maintaining speed one hundred and three. Ninety degrees, hundred kilometers, eleven point one altitude. And I am twenty kilometers from Tenor and closing. Right, so, Tromador, I want you to target Tenna, and Catolius uh, the same. I want you to target Tenna, and take us into a slow curve, and be careful because you will have some ships on the outer side who will be turning with you. So, Abeldina, you will need to take, uh, be careful, because you'll be on the, sort of the inside of that turn. And you'll want to, uh, uh, you'll want to meet up at Tenna. So, Tenna, if you can reduce your speed slightly, or even uh, come to a full stop. I center column coming to a full stop on my mark in. Please three, don't. 
Do not stop. Keep going. Oh, you're not ahead of them yet. Just keep going, Tanner. Okay. Slow down if you like, but do not stop. Uh, center column speed is 7.5. That's altitude. lovely. Uh, altitude is 11.5. One, one okay. Perfect. Catullius, I'm going to begin my turn in 3, 2, 1, mark. Kato is turning. Yeah, good call, guys, because I'm flying in the blind here, because I'm not winged with you. Uh, I'm going to increase my speed to 120. Okay, total is increasing speed to 120. I'm at 233, 2.30, 2.30. Um, Tanner, do you want to slow it down a little bit, please? Yes, I can. Give me just one moment. Coming up to 135 speed. Okay, Todd, it's increasing speed to 135. Center column, reduce speed to 60 in 3, Hello. 2, 1, reduce speed. Evaldina, we're slowly continuing a very. I see you um, in front of us now. We're, we're curving to the left just very slowly. Okay, right. just every once in a while. I'm trying to. Yeah. Okay, just people just take it nice and easy. Uh, you might want to reduce your speeds. Kater is reducing speed to 100. 100, my column. Because we will be rebuilding the formation, so we'll come to a full stop. Uh, when, when we are together. <laughs> Looks good, guys. When the uh, formation is rebuilt, can you win me um, in, please? Reducing speed to 7.5. I'm going down a bit. 7.5? Okay, tell us reducing. Right, so looks like, looks like we've met up everyone. So, Tenna, I'd like the center column to start reducing speed and eventually come to a full stop. But okay. the flight leaders, I'd leave it to, to your discretion to bring your columns to a halt. Center column coming to full stop on my mark in three, two, one, mark. Tromador's uh, column come down to speed 60. And I'm slowly to speed 50, 5, 0. 50. Center column should be at full stop. And come to 40. Avalina, just watch, I'm reducing. And a full stop. Same with Corbin, I'm coming slowly to a full stop. Okay, they're coming to 25. Okay, I'm just going to maneuver into a closer position to Tanner now, guys. And we'll shuffle up. Right. <laughs> Couple shifts went straight up to the center column. I like it. Right, so right. Scaff, you'll be one to point towards the destination. Okay, Confirm altitude, stop. please, Tanner. Altitude is 11.5. One, one For the purposes of the mass jump, Scav has asked that I operate as vocals for commands. Uh, so he will be in front of me, but um, I will be giving his vocals. Roger that. Uh, Scav, if you want to go ahead and Hello, go up, stop. up above and around me, that would work just fine. Tromador is in position on Tenor's uh, port stern. Okay. Scav is taking lead. Problem. Sorry, wrong button. <laughs> so we're doing the mass jump now. Yes, just one second, guys. I'll get back to you there. Okay, okay. Corbin, I'm, I'm dropping out. I can't access the map. I can't plot. <laughs>
out anywhere, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drop out of the formation. Okay. Uh, Scav has lined himself up. I'm lining up. Um, it's it's behind I Scav. Think the, fourth, the fourth closest system in your nav panel. You can select it from that. No, none of the panels or the map is working. Nothing is working. Okay. Right I'm saying three anacondas drop. Tony, what are you doing? No. Can I confirm that's Victor Kilo Lima Bravo forty one dash two four? That is correct. Thank you. Uh, should everyone plot to that system? Yes. Of the. Okay, maintaining three hundred meters from right? Scav. Uh, it is in local chat. It is also in in events text channel. Right. Just gonna... so, right, so I can see Nagi. I cannot see Scav, I think, but I can see you, Tenna. Okay, I am 300 meters off Scav's back. Scav end. is in front. Okay. Oh, I can't plot anyway because I'm a ship launch fighter. <laughs> also, 2 FPS, so I'm just gonna try and watch, I think. Okay. Um, did we want to do the three deep columns? across this or now Corbin uh, just give me one sec yeah so what we want to do here um, I'd like uh, oh, it's, it's really hard for me because I can't see Scav what I'd wanted is that I'd like uh, the large ships in three columns in the center okay so if I could get uh, from behind Luna if I could get um one. Let's see how many how many large ships do I have back there. Four, looks like. Five. Okay, if I could get three of you to. Uh, all right. So, if you are not in the center column, please move slightly outward from the center column, be it left or right. That way, we have some room to maneuver this. Hey, Scavs, just so you know, I am currently in free cam, so I cannot see the chat. Um, while I try and organize this real quick. Okay, and if I could get um, three ships from behind Luna, so ships four, five, and six in center column to come up, and on the left of the center column, the front ship of those three should line up about even with me uh, wing to wing. Ow! Ow, 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 Ooh. ow! Stop it! <sighs> Tohoru Puru has... Tramador, if you uh, would move slightly out to the side, please. We're doing the, the very large ship. We're splitting those. Yeah, I've just been shoved all over the place by people coming through without looking. Yeah, I, I saw it. Uh, where would you want... Where did you want me? Uh, if you could just slide out to the um, out, outside line just real quick while we bring the people in the center line up forward real quick. Okay. Um, ship 5 and the Beluga. Blue. So the Beluga and the ship in front of the Beluga in the center line, if you would come up and to the left behind the second Corvette. Corvette to my left and forward of me. Okay. So just take it nice and slow now, people. We'll be rebuilding this. I'll move out of the way here. Don't okay. know if you have seen the, the the notes on this, but we'll try building sort of a a big wing. Okay, Beluga, if you will come to your left and forward, please. You're coming up, second in line behind the Corvette beside uh, Scav to his left. Gotcha. And the Corvette who is in front of the Beluga, if you would fall in behind that Beluga for me, please. Thank you very much. Okay, and then the last three in the center column, so that looks like the Type 9 and two cutters, if you would do the same thing, but on the right-hand side of the center column, that would be good. So you come over to starboard side and you will line up accordingly.
Don't uh, you... en engage your hyperdrives yet. Keep keep coming up, keep coming up, keep coming up. Clipper, keep going. Keep going. Okay, stop. That's good. Uh yeah, you're good. Okay. Caboose, if you want to get just a little get in three hundred meters on him. And the cutter or clipper that is still deep in the back on the center line, uh, white vessel, please come up behind Caboose at 300 meters. Beast and P. Okay, Beast, thank you. You'll be 300 meters behind Caboose. Okay. Now, for everybody else, uh, we're going to do the Anacondas next. So the other large ships, you're going to do similar things, so either left or right, columns of three, and you will be on the exterior sides of this. It should be like two, eh, yeah, about two co extra columns on either side, so if you would mind lining yourselves up, please. And once the Anacondas are in, we will get the uh, medium and small ships to do the same. Yeah, and thank you for taking over, Tenna, because uh, there are ships I cannot see, so it's really hard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright, so we've got one column to either side so far, so go ahead and start making new columns, please. <laughs> Watch your spacing, guys. Please try not to bump each other too much. Okay, um, we've got five in the column behind Tromador. If we could get two of those to move slightly further out to the left. And make a new column to the left of Tromador, please. I don't. Okay. Um. How's my positioning? Uh, describe your ship. Tromador. Uh, Trom, you're fine. Uh, the guy behind you looks fine. There's some contestation. It looks like behind him. So you're third. The third person in your lines. I think they might not be able to see each other. On the right side, Stormy sees has. Of Anaconda. Say again. Oh, On the right side, Stormy Seas has to go into the second column of the fourth and the first column. Okay, Stormy Seas, if you would please move to your right and form a new column. I believe there's a white Anaconda also in that area. Please fall Logan. in there. Logan that, would be, that would be me. Okay, and then Tromador has two anacondas behind him with another two behind that. If those two in the far back would make a second column to the left of Tromador, please. Got one with yellow. Oh, there's three back there. Even better. Got somebody uh, in local saying there's a drunk furred firing weapons. I'm not sure uh, if that's so serious. Bad. Kit Ostlan, you have to move over to the left uh, side. Um, the fur is far enough away is not an issue. Just thought I'd mention it. There you go. Okay. There we go. That go. is going to be the left hand two columns out. Right hand is looking two columns out. Okay. So that is all the anacondas. If I could get medium ships in the range of pythons and crates and asps to do the same thing, please make columns three deep to the left of the two columns of anacondas on either side. And it looks like we're going to need a little bit more people, uh, a few more people on the right side than the little door. Maybe they might even out. I don't know what the numbers are. Cons on the left have to move forwards and shift themselves so that they're pointing more to the. Uh, yeah, Tromador, if you would raise altitude just a bit and angle your nose to your right. Your heading should be 176. Roger. I just have to say, this looks amazing. 
And the last time I saw a fleet lo fleet like this was in Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> so Thanks. crates on the crates on the far right. Uh, there's a line of four. There's a white anaconda, an anaconda, a crate, and then another anaconda. Um, that crate number three in that line, if you would move forward, up, and to your right. Okay, I saw somebody with blue thrusters doing that. There we go. There's the guy who I was talking about. Yes, if you would please take lead on the column to the right of that line of anacondas. That way they are not a four light, four deep. Okay. So that looks good. Come on the right, how are we doing? Okay, I have the bright lime green crate. Looks like he's got one guy behind him. Uh, there appears to be a crate with purple thrusters and dark uh, hull coloration. If you would move to the left but to follow into the third of that line, please, because you are currently behind three anacondas. Yeah, uh, where should I be going? I'm the for the lance on the right. Um, you'll be in with one of these col shields. Um, if you want to either s so very, I can't get a good angle from over here. Uh, but make sure that those uh, crate lines have uh, lines of three. If one does not, yeah. fall in behind one of them um, until there is three. And if there's three, make a new column, please. Column left, move back to, like, where the laser beam is. Yeah, there's uh, three columns of three. Okay. Uh, so, uh, sorry to interrupt you, but I uh, I managed to get my game to work again. Uh, I'm an anaconda coming up to the formation just below you. Can uh, I join? Okay, um, I'm actually going to come out of formation just so I can get a better sight on this. Uh, Scav, I will be returning to formation. Don't worry about me. I just want to make sure I can actually get a good view of this. So that big hole in the center, please don't worry about it. I'll be coming back. Yeah, it's kind of lopsided. Should I be uh, 300 meters away from the guy on my left? Um, left to right should not shouldn't matter too much. We're looking reasonably tight right now, which is good. Alright. <laughs> and thanks again, everyone, for taking part in this. Sorry we went a bit uh, over time. No, thank okay. you. Thank you, Corbin. I'm enjoying this. This is uh, okay. This is a good. Uh, Absolutely, this is an experience. I tell you, Ferdinand, if you would come forward and in front of the crate to your left, please. That'll be the lead on that line. Um, yeah, come a little bit more forward, Ferdinand. Try and line you up a little bit better with the front line of the formation. Uh, who's had the anaconda? They said they were coming in with. Uh, me, Scalios. Okay, Scalios, um, whereabouts right are down. you? Right behind the uh, center line. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm trying to see what might work here. Uh, okay, so on the right hand side, there is a line of two crates with a DBX. Um, that DBX, if I could move you out to the far edge on the right, please, as a new column, and then the two crates in that line. Uh, so first crate line on the right. Um, if you would move back slightly so that the anaconda can take the lead on that line. How's here for the DBX? Um, DBX, please come forward. You're going to be just behind and to the right of the fertile ants. Perfect. So this is Catolius moving back here. Is this what you meant? Uh, yes. So Catolius, if you would back up to the second row, please. You'll be you'll have a, a dark anaconda to your left. Right, and then Scalios, DBX, you are fine. Uh, and then Scalios, if you would go up and over the formation to come up beside the, or below the formation to uh, get beside the white anaconda on the front line. Copy. Um, Catolius, if you could back up just a little bit more. Wait, what do you mean? Okay, so Scalios, you're going to go 
There's a crate directly above you. That's where I want you to be. And Catullius, if you would back up to fill the spot behind him. Okay, Scalius, come forward and up a little bit. Did Kayla go back far enough or not? Yep. Yeah, you should be fine. Okay, and go ahead and form your 300 meter line up there. That's the left silicon. Okay. Uh, all right. So I still have a crate with purple thrusters. It's just sort of idling behind the lines of anacondas. If I could get you to move in with one of the lines of the crates, please. Or in the line of crates or the asp line, either or. And then just like I had on the right-hand side with the DBX being on the exterior, if that DBX and the asp with it... Uh, no, the asp should be fine. But if that DBX would go and form its own column all the way out on the wing, please. Are there any free wing slots so I can try and reload? Uh, I'm sure we've got a few. Uh, name? Scorpio Joe. Uh, Beluga, if you would angle your heading slightly to the left, please. Oh, bollocks, I can't accept wing invites. Okay, uh, Beluga, have to you are good to go. You're gonna have to go back to main menu. Yeah, but then once I load the thing, when I'll be at the instance. Not necessarily. Okay. Probably would be, but we can try to get you back in. Okay, so I know I've got a couple... I know, Do Nagi, you're out doing pictures and stuff in your fighter. Um, there's a couple other ships just sort of idling up here outside the formation, if you guys wouldn't mind. Well, that's uh, one of them is me. Just okay. to reload. Right, should we try... Um, should we try doing this, then? Do you think we are ready? Do, have you set, Senna? Uh The formation looks, like, decent enough. Where are we heading again to? Uh, the... Um, it's in Discord and local chat. It is, um, yes. What is it, 1.87 light years away? Yeah, 1.87 yeah. light years away. It ends it's the fourth, fourth. fourth system listed. Bravo 4-1-2-4. So I can at least watch it. It's the yellow dot above the star. Who's streaming? And can you post a link in Discord, please? Um, I am streaming the... I will give you the link here in just a moment. Okay. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Gonna drop the link here on the formation page. Okay, link is on the Formation Flight Group channel right. for my stream. Cool. So, Tenna, while you take uh, re, uh, retake your position, I'll just uh, briefly explain what we're going to do. You might Can know I already. Just, uh, butt in before you do, Corbin. Yeah. Um, one thing that may sometimes cause people lag is if their uh, chat windows are not all caught up. So, if you have tabbed chat windows while Corbin's giving a briefing, it might uh, do you a favor to make sure you've cleared any backlog of any chat windows that you've got. I get a wing invite so I can re-instance. Thanks, Corbin. Who was that? Scorpio Joe, uh, Scorpio Scorpio Joe, Joe. is looking for a re-instance. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get him. Okay. Right. Corbin, I am retaking my position. Luna, please be advised you may need to adjust. I shouldn't uh, need you to, but... Right, so what we'll be doing is that we will be... Um, uh, speeding up um, uh, on this heading, it looks like we are on 176. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. And uh, just like before, when we formed the first formation, we'll just uh, get, a, get a hang of it, see if we can uh, remain stable in formation. Then we'll do a loop, see if that oh works my out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, actually, um, no. Uh, Sorry, I'll take it from the top. Sorry. Um, uh, we'll start flying, uh, go to a speed of 100. Um, then we will spool our frame shift drives. So we are ready to the hyper jump. 
But of course, we won't jump because we are not going fast enough. But we're going at a speed of 100. Uh, then we'll do a loop. As we come out of that loop, each of you will align towards the star and go full speed and make the jump. So we won't all be jumping at the same time. The lead ship will be jumping first. But simply do the loop as you would usually do. And as you exit the loop, go full throttle and you're off to, to the waypoint six. Any questions? Yeah, it's uh, Kato. Can you please confirm again? I know you say it's in all chats everywhere. I can't keep up with that. Could you just confirm verbally the place? Okay, uh, I'm going to read it out. Bravo, Oscar, Echo, Whiskey, November, Sierra, Tango, Space, Victor, Kilo, Tac Lima, Space, Bravo, 41, Tac 24. Distance is 1.87 light years. Thank you very much. Scab Scaler requests that everyone take any photos now. Dot. It's the orange dot above the system star. Yeah. If it's you have pictures you want to take. Years. Yes. Uh, we have a have commander incoming. We have I a commander have incoming. A 80 kilometers. kilometers. That's me. Please take any pictures that you are going to take now. Naki, are you ready with the camera? All right, uh, I will move in front of you. So I can just camera better. While I'm you're waiting in free for- camera mode. Very okay. Good. So did we have a single commander inbound? Yeah, that's me. Um, he's a condor. Where he at? He's 60 kilometers in front. Right, while, while we wait for the last commander to join us, uh, I think we should give a round of applause to our flight leaders and our wing-in coordinators and uh, everyone who's been helping out with this. So thank you so much uh, for helping uh, me set this up. Uh, wouldn't have been possible without you. So yay, round of cheers. Hello, yay, woo! Yeah. Oh, woo. Yeah. Well done, guys, thanks a lot. It's been brilliant. Thank you, Corbin. Yeah, yeah I was just thank me after the jump. <laughs> <laughs> Dude always plans for the worst, man. <laughs> um, same for thanks Standing to Corbin up for setting the whole thing up. Because yeah, this wouldn't yeah, sending up a little bit of Corbin. sending up a little bit of chaff for you. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> and with this jump, we will enter stage two of the Simulants Two. Woohoo! Gatolius, what are you doing? <laughs> Put that down. So what's the status on, on the last uh, commander? 40 kilometers. Okay. Alright. Uh, this is Commander Tana. I'm going to take a quick uh, trip to the head. I will be right back in about a minute and a half. Okay. Just as a random piece of information on the subject, the average mammal takes about 21 seconds to empty its bladder. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely information. Be that a pygmy shrew, an elephant, or a human? Obviously, the uh, writer of that entry has never uh, seen a whale take a dump. I didn't say take a dump, I said empty their bladder. Changing the subject ever so slightly. If it's I was all to do film... with the, uh, the pressure of, and the size of the bladder and fluid dynamics. <laughs> yeah. Right, so let's change that subject, yeah? <laughs> okay, Tenet yeah, is back. I thought it was a fascinating fact. Just the movie jumping to again? B O E W N S T space V K TAC L space B41 TAC24. If I was to film the jump, where would you recommend I put my ship? Because you're going to be all moving and in different, jumping at different times. At the end of a loop, I can't imagine where we'll be to actually Just try, film try to place your camera in the center of the loop. 
Okay. Nagi, will you be in front Try of us? Try not to get in the axe that's just floating. Okay, I can see a ship inbound now. Oh, rip one of the ships I just... Am, yeah. Right, so just so I get it right, Tenna, will you be calling out commands on behalf of Scav, or should I be doing that? Um, I can call him out. Please do. Yeah. <laughs> Tenna's louder, thanks. <laughs> I'll just follow, then. Very nice. nice. Oh, just one thing. I want to confirm the initial heading. Is it going to be 177 or so? 176. 176. What does that make our reverse heading for the top of the loop? Uh, um, 356. Yeah. Cool. And I'm sorry, 354. Roger. How do I math? No, 356 should be right. You're only going to be off by four from the heading. That's right. Uh, Corbin, Lou, Scav, I can confirm behind you that that is where I'm at. Scalius, please say again. Luna dropped out and is going to be joining us now. Okay. Uh, Tromador, Catolius, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop out of the wing. Roger. Correct. Well, so Scav, the best thing about this is I'm behind you now, which means that your guns can't shoot me, so I can fly anywhere I want to. <laughs> 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 I should have he said that he's going to turn around. Nah, he's got him on gimbals. They could absolutely point and ter- point around and turn to me. It would be, would be very easy for him to shoot in my ship. Are we ready? Um, I think... Are we still waiting on Luna? Yep, just give her like five, three minutes. It's done. Okay. Um, I hear honks. Make sure that you guys have all of your hard points stowed before you try to make the jump, otherwise you won't make the jump because you can't charge your frameshift drive with hard points out. Actually, should we just start uh, charging our um, FSD now? And we're doing a loop? I mean, so we'll we'll be moving at 100, so you'll never launch off of your frameshift drive then. As long as it won't cause heat problems for anyone. I think Um, I saw Luna's drop in. Yeah, I don't think it'll cause any problems, he was. If we're, not put those too, away. if we're not going too fast on a point three G world, we should be okay. I chat as well. I see green engine trails. Hi might not, Luna. <laughs> might not be a bad idea to put full pips into engines just in case somehow going to a hundred does set your set your FSD off if you're a slower ship. Yeah. You'll you'll want four pips to engines. Yes. Now we're gonna live with all the beeping while we wait. Okay, Tanner, can you confirm that we're gonna be charging? Uh Corbin, is that the game? Yes, we're charging. Okay. And I think we're ready to begin moving out. Uh, Tenna, what it called? No, uh, Luna can fall in behind us, I think. Right, Luna? Uh, yep. Waiting for ships to get in. Pre- okay. Uh, someone what? decided to leave. Um. Bye, Logan. Log- Logan Darklighter. Okay. Okay. Leroy. I was trying. Was it a bit too fast, I think. <laughs> I was trying to talk to somebody and hit the tab and ah oh, fuck. Excuse me, I will be right back. <laughs> I, I think we need to move out now. We we can't keep uh, can't keep. Yeah. Waiting. 
It's gonna continue like this. If... Yeah. yeah. Okay, if someone would please fill in the spot that he had. Sorry, Logan. Never mind. That's just so embarrassing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, I rip the, the best frame. Of us. Okay. Don't worry about it, but of course, someone just streamed it and everybody saw it. But don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, it's going up. Bye. Logan's okay, um, run. All right, please take us out then. Okay, so on the count of my mark, everyone begin charging FSDs in three, two, one, mark. It's going to be a moment because of uh, some mass lock everybody's going to have. Should not mass lock for high wake. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I'm I'm dumb. Now, when we start moving, you'll want to throttle up really slow. Yes. Because you don't want to hit that sweet spot where you actually start <coughs> jumping. Yeah, it's around 75% throttle. Okay. On my mark, formation will increase speed to one zero zero in three two one mark on my mark formation will perform one whole loop in three, two, one, mark. Oh, you are actually circling around my fighter. Kind of. Lead ships of formation, when you level out and are aimed at destination, you may proceed to full throttle. Jumping. 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 This is Commander Tenna. I am in jump. Have a good flight, gentlemen. Thank you, everyone. Woo! Thank you very much, guys. Thanks, Corbin. <laughs>